Hey, this is Jason from Denworks. I got something really cool today. I never thought that I would be into flatbeds as much as I am now, but we do have a little farm and I love flatbed bed trucks. Uh, so useful and they're really cool. Um, this is a very, very, very original 1977 Ford F-350 Custom. Uh, bought brand new at Gibson Ford. Gibson Motor Company, but Gibson Ford in Junction City, Oregon, not too far away from here. Um, bought brand new by a farmer on March 1st, 1977, has a cab and chassis, and the Ford dealership took it to Pummel, uh, who put the Pacific bed on it, and it's still like this today. Very, very, very cool. Um, it's only got 30,000 miles on it, I don't have documentation or anything like that. Um, but again, it's a farm rig and it was parked in, always parked indoors, always parked on their farm. And the grandpa had bought it new, like I said, and basically used it just on his farm, hauling hay, doing all those kind of things around the property, going to the store and feed stores and stuff like that. And it was passed down through the family he stopped driving it around. He parked it 1994, so it really wasn't on the road that much, 14, 15, 16, 17 years, and it just was parked. And um, it was finally pulled out. A friend of mine bought it two years ago during COVID and did a lot of work to it. Didn't have to do really anything to the paint or anything like that, because this is original paint, never been painted and we'll walk around it and i'll show you different things about it but he did upgrade the wheels and tires to a 16 inch instead of a split rim he also got crazy and it needed more power originally came with a 400 he put a 460 in it um up and had it balanced brand new motor and he also had a 1969 70 uh heads put on it which if you know anything about those the dobe heads a lot of power and a lot of people put those those heads on it put a new clutch on it in it as well um it's got cast iron pistons so it's got a small rv cam so really nice went through the brakes he did put uh, a bed on it as well well the bed was already on it but he took the old wood and put some pressure treated on it as well but mechanically, the truck is amazing. The paint's amazing. Original interior. I got original paperwork and everything. You'll be pretty impressed. And it's really fun to drive. It's, it's cool. It's the time of the season. You can put a bunch of pumpkins and stuff on there. It'd be just fun. So I just wanted to walk around, show you different flaws and different things and the good things, obviously. But every rig has a little something here and there. And But hard to pick this one apart actually so this is going to be no reserve on um, bring a trailer um top bid gets it and um it's going to have a new owner clean oregon title just a cool rig so we'll do a startup i'll show you it does have a dump bed as well it was set up for it back in the day but they had never installed so it does have a dump bed that works right now he had no use for it uh, a dump back in the day because he was just hauling hay and stuff so uh, he didn't have that option, but it was already set up for it. So we'll just walk around it again. This is original paint So you're gonna see some little flaws. You'll see some little chips Along the nose here It has not been repainted You'll see a couple little kind of dents Right there up on the hood. They kind of look like they came from the inside out they might have left something sitting on there or something but you'll see little little dings that's the worst of any dings on it you can see the grill all original original grills those aren't repops and they're not all cracked or anything like that they actually look really nice you'll see little pits and little scratches and stuff on the chrome obviously it's even got the bumper guards on it. If you need help selling something, by the way, you can go to our website, Denworks, D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S. 
we would be glad to help you. And uh, as long as you have a like mind like us and don't mind showing the goods and the bads. And uh, we'd just love to help you. So just let us know. You can see some little scuffs, little things here. On the side of the grill. So if you look down the side, very clean. No door dings or anything like that. The only thing that's been added is it didn't have wheel lip moldings on it. So the owner decided to put wheel lip moldings, which I 100% agree, look great. And I'll let our, actually our male lady's driving by. Let her go by. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we're just out here doing a video. Yeah. Maybe you can trade your uh, Jeep in for that. Is it a right hand drive? Huh? Is it a right hand drive? We can make it right hand drive. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Thank I you. I can put all my packages on there. Right. <laughs> all right. Good, See you later. kind of nice to see the male people who live out on a rural route so it's kind of cool so anyways very cool truck overall I was just saying that the wheel lips were put on it just small little minor little scratches you can see here I'm not gonna point every one of them out but um, it's in really clean shape overall original Ford windshield Look at that right there. You can see the Ford logo on there. And it tells you a lot that this hasn't been on the road because the windshield doesn't have hardly any chips. I mean, it doesn't even have any chips. I mean, there's no road rash like you see. You can see the, the Ford logo right there. That's impressive. Original gasket, original lights and everything up there. Original mirrors that have been painted black, but they painted them black back then. A um, couple little chips and things here. You can see a little chip there. Just a couple little tiny things. You can see the rub through from getting out. Actually, if you saw my thumb, there I smashed it. Didn't feel good. I didn't do it today though. No rust in the back of the cab. No rust at all on this thing. It's really amazing. Here, I'll show you the bed lifting real fast. I'll show you the interior too in a minute. But anyways, here's the up and down. So we'll see if I can do this. got a harsh rigid lift I'll lift it all the way up and stand back so you can see it actually you can see the frame and everything here new exhaust on it we'll back up here so you can see that's cool Reminds me of when I was a kid with a little dump truck. I'll go ahead and put it down now. Really easy to use. And then you just go down. Easy as that. Takes it a minute. There you go. And then it just tucks behind the seat, seat here. Uh, I wanted to show you the interior. It's amazing as well. Original door panels, everything, original door tag. When I sent the report over to Kevin Marty, they actually wanted more information. They wanted all these tags because they hadn't seen anything uh, like this. So they wanted to 
look at it a little closer for the records. And you can see here the paint just come off inside here a little bit. Nothing major, but just wanted to show you that. Um, I want you to check this out real fast, though. This is really cool before I lose everything. Original litter bag, right? Cool. Original receipt when he bought it new, paid $53.50. I think there might have been a trade in. No. Got a lot of stuff. Original warranty card. Original owner's manual with the uh, stock number on it, which the stock number's on another item here, I believe. Yeah, 7880. Gibson Motor Company, all the options. That doesn't include the bed. This just has to do with the, uh, you know, he bought it new on March 1st, and uh, he bought that separate, but the Ford dealership did it, and he bought it from the dealership. I don't have a receipt on the bed, um, but you can see right here, 377 as well when this was put on. So we bought the truck and the bed at the same time, so there was two different payments, but I don't have it on the other. Original window sticker, very cool. I mean, who keeps all this on a on a flatbed truck? Here's a Marty report. Very cool. Candy apple red. We just get these sometimes. All the rest of the stuff is original. Um, I had got this on the internet. I thought that was a nice ad for it. So you can see original colors and stuff. And original brochure has all the trucks and options and stuff. And there's actually uh, flatbed information in here as well for cabin chassis, colors again. Had originally Firestone tires, um, warranty fax booklet, and a couple other warranty act and mileage uh, statement. Had 30 miles on it when he got it, probably because they took it over to the place to have it converted. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you the interior real fast. Interior is really nice. Dash pad doesn't have any cracks in it, but there's a some sunshade or a fade on it. You can see the headliner warp just a little bit, but I mean that looks great. Dome light works. Original seat has not been recovered. This is the original seat. You can see some little, a little bit of damage just from age, but I would never replace this. If you wanted to, you could go to SMS and uh, just maybe replace the centers, but I would just leave this just like this. That really proves the, the miles. I mean, it's crazy. A little mark there. Hardly any wear on the door handles. And on the edge there, very little wear on the steering wheel. A couple little cracks and stuff you can see. The pedals tell you a lot. Original floor mat in there. Look inside the jams. Again, really nice. See the odometer, 30,225. I don't have any mileage to uh, documents to back that up, but the gentleman that I am helping sell, just talking with the family and stuff, it, it really makes sense. But if you don't think it is, then um, that's okay too. Um, but it's just basically our opinions and what we heard from the family. So. But I don't have any mileage documentation, but just being around the truck, uh, I believe it's true. You can see the original door gasket is in great shape. You can see, yeah, it's really not cracking, but it's 
there's kind of a cracking there, but it's it's not deteriorated. I just think it's from age. Uh, take a look at the top. Original cab lights. No rust around the gutter. You'll see <clears throat> right here. Let me put this back in before it flies. The bed. Quite a while ago, someone had sprayed, not on this part, I believe that part's original. And I don't know, maybe this piece wasn't original or not. Uh, I believe it is, but it was painted again. So you can see some paint flaking off. And these actually raise up. You can actually raise them up. I think they go all the way down here. So you can raise those up quite high. But I think this was maybe added uh, but I'm not 100% for sure. But this paint looks the same, actually. So maybe it did come with it. But someone had put just a thin layer on that side. Both uh, tanks work as well. Uh, tires. Date code on these are 2020. But he put them on at the same time. Open Country Toyos, HTs. And they're 235.85, uh, 16. Again, Upgraded to 16 inch wheels. It's got disc brakes in the front, drums in the back, both gas tanks. Uh, you can check out, check out this tire here. This is a Toyo as well. Hyper Radial ST, um, 2021 date code. At least on this one I know, but uh, they're probably all the same. The reason that it's got a Hyper Radio and the different one on the front, even though they're both uh, Toyos, it's just because this is more of a grip tire and this one is more of a highway tread. So that's the reason for the difference. Um, original mats, mud flaps, and everything on there. I can't remember what was on the back. Um, they were already off. Kind of a chrome and insignia on there. But it'd be cool to get some really cool vintage mud flaps that say Oregon or something on it or, or the state you're in or something like that. It'd be cool. So you can take a look. All the lights work. Sorry for such a long video, but it's a big truck. I forgot to measure the bed for you. Um, man, I'm gonna guess that's 10 or 12 feet. I think it's, might be 12 feet long. I'll get exact measurements in the uh, the auction for you. Again, it's no reserve on bring a trailer auctions. The reason I'm saying that is you might be watching this on YouTube. You can see here oh, toolbox with the pump in there. And that was added, the box was added, um, I believe, when he put the pump on it. Because originally it didn't have the pump. Again, really nice. Back of the cab looks great. Original spot welds. Little ding right there, but nothing else. Looks great. Little chipping. Take a look at the interior on this side. Very nice. Again, the seat is original. You see a little repair right there, a little cutout, kind of a little rip right there, but it's original. Four speed, uh, which is fun to drive. You can see this door jam. Looks really good. Take a look underneath the hood. Actually, we're not going to go that far. You can see some little paint checking right here. Didn't need to speed ahead. A couple little chips. But again, in great shape overall. Take a look here. What we have is a 460, like I mentioned earlier. 
uh, new master, all new brakes. Engine is a 460 with, uh, you can see the DOVE right there. The high performance heads, um, those are great heads. Aluminum intake. Edelbrock carb, ABS2, runs really good. You can see in here, really nice condition overall. Something here got, maybe someone set something on top of it, got hot, you can see that. Um, it's also been converted over, he couldn't find for an F250 um, for the, uh, for an F250, a new master, so it's got a hydro boost, uh, so it's hydro um, for the brake booster, which is nice. It's got power steering, and you can see there's no damage in here or anything like that. Again, it's original paint. Why would there be, but just wanted to show you everything. Underneath the hood, looks really good. Usually they're rusted out all down the side there. This is very nice. You can see here, maybe a little battery issue because it's right above the battery. But something a long time ago. Looks great underneath here. A little crack right there on, but it doesn't seem like it's all the way through, but a little crack right there. But Looks great underneath here. Let me start it up here for you real fast. This is a neutral. Got an automatic choke. This lever here is for your uh, um, for your gas tanks. Sounds good. Runs nice. questions we're gonna do some drive around video for you as well so you can just see it in action and uh, again it is a no reserve auction top bit is gonna get it and it's just really killer truck thanks for taking a peek